Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Las Vegas Raiders. 2-1 loss team set to lace it up. This ought to be fun, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down is Carr. Short little throw to Ebron. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now a play fake. Carr. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Hey, we're good, we're good. To throw again on second down. Carr escaping the pressure right. He gets it complete to Harris. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Again, they'll throw with Carr. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Following the interception here, Mariota to swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Buying time to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. connection complete to runs and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out how about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive first down Mariota Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. This is caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Waller, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. shape as they get it up past the 30. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Second and ten. Now Carr steps away. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Car going to throw. Thrown incomplete. Devin Bush, the linebacker, was the one there in pass coverage. On fourth down, the rookie Presley Harvin on to punt for the Steelers. Hunter Renfro deep to return for the Raiders. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. On play action, Mariota. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And this is incomplete. Well played defensively. Nearly had the interception, but it's second down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Off the play fake, Mariota. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down. 17-yard line. From the red zone now, Mariota. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to go back to Moore there. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Yeah. <laughs> 
They'll throw again. Mariota. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Mariota. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. So a nice... And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. 39 yards there, a big one. A first carry for Najee Harris. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second at 11. Carr. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Tyree Gillespie. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. isn't it he's got to start making better decisions with the ball that's now two interceptions in the first quarter after interception number one there was a long talk on the sideline and now he's made another mistake yeah he's just been kind of laying these passes out there he's kind of been floating them a little bit he's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball right pulled in there every now and then and they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Throwing on second and long. Mariota flush to his right. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. on people in this streak, the pass rushers, because most of the time, they're the ones that affect things in the pocket for a quarterback trying to throw the football, rushing them, getting them off their spot, harassing them, and that allows the defensive backs, the linebackers, to swoop in and make the picks downfield. And they're swooping. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They'll try the right side with Harris, and he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A first opportunity for the Steelers in the red zone. First and ten right at the 20. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. On the give, this is Harris, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space, 
a loss results there. Throwing his car on third down. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. To throw his car toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. Again, it's Carr. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are able to make this a close game again. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Oh, he missed it. No good. So this remains a four-point game. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss and they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up past the 40 yard line 